Hey guys, Rick Osborne here. Today we're going to talk about how to make our very own healthy, nourishing, homemade chicken soup. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is get yourself a nice organic chicken and you're going to take your chicken, and I got this cut up for me at Whole Foods so I wouldn't have to mess with it. They cut it up into pieces, including the giblet, so you just take that whole chicken, dump it into your pot, and then you're going to cover it with some good filtered water. And once you've got enough water covering this, you just want to turn your stove probably up to high to bring it to a boil. And then you're going to season the water a little bit. Um, and I just put a good bit of sea salt in there, you know, just a healthy amount. Some good organic sea salt. Some people use bouillon uh, when they're making chicken soup, but honestly, if you want the full nutritional value of that, my suggestion would be not to use bouillon because it tends to have, you know, artificial flavors and chemicals, MSG, stuff like that in it, which you just, you know, if you're trying to stay clean and healthy, I wouldn't use that. The other thing I like to do is throw in a few uh, peppercorns just to let them soak good, give some good flavor to the broth. Remember, this is going to soak pretty much all day, so we want that to be... Uh, as good as possible and taste as great as possible. Then we're going to drain all of this off. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dump in the veggies. And basically, what I have done is cut up um, onions, celery, and carrots. And these are all going to be drained off as well. Just cut them in large chunks. And so we'll do that. What we'll do is just, we'll just mix all that up. And we're going to let that just soak and simmer pretty much all day in that uh, broth. And finally, uh, before I just let it soak for the day, I'm going to add some fresh thyme that I've chopped up. I'm going to bring that to, to a, mix that up. We're going to bring that to a boil here on high. Once we do that, we're going to turn it down and put the top on it and create a nice, tasty, awesome broth. You can always put other vegetables in here if you want. They want to add some garlic to it as well. I love garlic in just about everything. You could add curry, you could add, oh, you name it, all kinds of great healthy spices. Um, okay, and so it's been roughly eight hours or so that I've had this cooking, so I'm gonna pull the top off of it now just to let you get another look at it. You see that? See how nice and cooked the, that meat is as vegetables are nice and just cooked to pieces. Now you can actually cook this a lot longer if you like, but I'd cook it at least six hours just to let the uh, vegetables soak. And um, one thing I did not mention uh, in the last uh, section of this is that you should put about two tablespoons of some apple cider vinegar in there. That'll help leach more of the minerals out of the bones and everything too and I did do that I just didn't get it on video so anyway, just strain that broth off into the pan below and so there's kind of a view if you can see of the uh, broth and what that looks like okay and now what I've done is I've removed the chicken and all of the kind of hyper cooked veggies uh, from the broth and I'm basically going to set that out and let it cool off. Uh, once it cools, I'm going to pull the chicken off the bone. And then I'll put the chicken back into the broth. At this point, the broth looks a little uh, cloudy and stuff. You've got little particles and stuff. Some of that's the herbs and spices that I put in. Some of that's fat. Um, some people prefer to keep some of the fat because they think it's nourishing to the body. Um, I personally like some of the fat in there. What you can do though is you can let the uh, the broth cool off and once it does the fat will congeal on the top and then you can just take your spoon and skim it off. So. Um, usually though when people do that they save the broth and they will freeze it and use it later for other recipes and different things that call for chicken broth. Now when you're cutting up your vegetables to put back in, these are the carrots that I've chopped. Notice that I've cut them in fairly small pieces. Whenever I make soups I just don't like big chunks of vegetables. This is about uh, five to six of these kind of small to almost medium sized carrots um, that I have put 
in here. That's pretty much. But you can put as many as you want. Uh, there's no specific perfect formula for doing this. Uh, if you like more vegetables, put more. If you don't, don't put as many. You can have more broth. When you're cutting up the leek, uh, basically you'll cut it like this, but just make sure you peel, cut the bushy part off the end and just cut, uh, usually peel the very outer layer off because it tends to have dirt in that area which you'll be able to see if you're cutting uh, such as that and you don't want that. I cut them just like that. Can you see that? And they just turn out to be little round things. If you like, you can cut those in half just to make them a little bit smaller pieces, like so. And the way I prepare fennel is I basically just take it and slice that part, the hairy part, off like that. And then I just cut this into quarters and then just, or whatever, cut it into quarters and then cut it again. That's pretty much how I do that. Then all you have to do is just slice the edges like that. I don't know if you can see that, but and that's what your fennel pieces look like. And there's the celery, um, about a cup, maybe a cup, cup and a half's worth. Okay, so I've added all the vegetables except for the onion, and I waited to save the onions to last because, quite frankly, they make me cry, and I didn't want to be teared up and miserable the whole time I was cutting up the other veggies. So basically just dump those in there and stir everything up. Now again, you can put more vegetables in there if you want. You can add some extras. Um, I also got the uh, mushrooms and the, the shiitake mushrooms. I'm going to add those in a minute, but remember those will cook pretty fast. The chicken has not been added back yet and the reason I haven't is because I'm still waiting for it to cool. Remember that's already cooked, but the vegetables aren't. So we're going to go ahead and add those, and they need to stay in there, my guess is somewhere at least an hour or longer. And there's what about half of the meat looks like pulled off the bones. And I put the other half in already, so I'm going to go ahead and add this as well. And finally, now I've added everything except for the shiitake mushrooms. Uh, they'll cook fast. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw those in. Because um, I'm going to let it cook for at least another 30 minutes or so. And I'm just going to... I'm going to put them all in there because they will be great. The meat is already cooked, so all it has to do is just heat up a little bit. But the vegetables need to cook, in my opinion, about an hour at least. Um, and they can cook longer for sure. But if you look at that, it looks nice and healthy. Notice the broth is fairly clear. We don't want it real thick. That's part of the magic of and the, the therapeutic value, uh, the nutritional and healing value of this uh, chicken broth is that it's got it's full of nutrients and that's what we want to nourish our gut or our small intestine, our digestive system. At this point you can start tasting it and if you want to add some more curry or some more spices to it, feel free to spice it and season it to your liking. Uh, you might want to add a little more sea salt depending on uh, how salty you like it but there you have it that's pretty much a nourishing homemade chicken soup